this going. Uh, what is your name? Diane Rademacher. And Diane, how long have you been uh, interested in the World's Fair? Oh gosh, probably since I was a child because actually my dad was born in 1904 and the uh, family story was that he attended the fair as a baby. Wow. So I thought that was kind of cool and I've been interested in the fair ever since. I can, can remember. You, can you tell us just one fascinating thing that you, I know you know a lot about the fair, but one fascinating thing you'd like to share? One fascinating, well my interest in the fair was what's left because people had always said it was all torn down. And I found that a number of the state buildings and farm buildings are had been relocated to other states. Parts of buildings are in St. Louis. Um, statuary exhibit items are back in their original locations, and so you can still see the fair that was. It still is. Could you tell us one of those items where we could go see it? Um, Birmingham, Alabama. You can see the statue of Vulcan. He's on a pedestal on top of Red Mountain in the downtown part of Birmingham. And he was at the fair. He was in the mines and metal and building. Thank Six you. Six feet tall. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, wow. That's great. Thank you very much, Dan.